Hey Trailers, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. This is the weekly watch list for November 13th, 2022. What a week it was. But before we start, do me a favor, hit the like button and also subscribe. And also, if you're interested in any one-on-one -on -one coaching, do me a favor, uh, send me an email, go to my website for more information. Uh, I do a one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentoring. I also have my S&P EMA Weekly Trade Zones plus my video course, seven hours of uh, trading uh, strategies and content. Only one-time payment, 99 bucks. But again, all that at the link below or my website, daytrainfearless.com. But let's jump right into this video. This is a weekly watch list again for uh, November 13th, 2022. What a crazy, crazy week we had. Now, last week I said, I think we're going to trade somewhere in here, right? I kind of really had no call because of the CPI and also the elections data, right? Um, with what's going on. Now, I will say the weird thing to me was how when the election uh, results came out, um, even though, even now as I'm saying this, my state, Nevada, uh, still can't figure out how to count uh, votes, it looks like, is they still don't have any um, word on who's who the winner is. Um, so hopefully uh, they fix that. Same with Arizona. Um, and so they're kind of holding it up. But from everything that we're seeing, it looks like the Republicans will take the House. The Senate will probably stay 50-50 from what I'm seeing. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Um, but with that being said, um, I... It was weird because the market really didn't do anything um, on election night. I went live. There was a literally zero move. Um, and then when CPI came out right here on Thursday morning, we had the massive rally of all rallies. This is what happens in bear markets. You get rip your face off rallies and you better be careful um, with them. So. With that being said, where do I think the market's going? Well, guess what? I actually think we're probably going up to the probably at least the 200, and then we're getting overextend. And I think we're going to the point of control because it matches up. It's kind of like X marks the spot, right? Right here, boom. Okay, we have the point of control from the entire market profile. We also have this downtrend line, okay, and it's just, it'll be an overshoot, and then we'll see what happens. Here's the interesting thing. One, two, three, this will be the fourth hit. Do we actually break higher and keep going, or do we roll over and do this thing all over again, right? Um, on the downside, we may go here, roll over, and create a massive inverse head and shoulders. No, no, we'll see. I'm just speculating, just trying to uh, see what the charts are telling me. But um, but be careful with that. One one caveat, um, and I told I, I've said this a few times on here. I felt like something was going to happen in November. Um, just kind of like a black swan event. There are things that have kept me on the sideline from really, really selling puts um, when we were down here. I sold some, but just kind of going bigger. There's just something about uh, November that was giving me pause, right? And this was back in like September. Um, couldn't tell what it was. And guess what? It was FTX. It looks like FTX blowing up. Um, essentially 34 billion, 32 billion market cap wiped down one day. Um, so I wonder if that gives kind of bigger moves um, in the crypto space. And does there start to be a lot of contagion um, that as we get up here, um, we roll back over. But I am definitely bullish. This is a bullish market. Um, sentiment changed as of a, the other day. Um, now, one last thing, last week I said, does the Fed come out if the market rallies too hard, too quick? Does the Fed come out and start to kind of squash this market? Well, 
let's see what happens when we get up here in this 4170 level, right? Um, I, I actually think they're going if the market rallies too hard then they, everybody's gonna feel rich and go spend money and everything the fed's been doing is for nothing right um so i think uh the fed will probably come out be a lot more hawkish right um as we actually rally if we rally too hard so but with that being said i am bullish this week um let's take a look at the nq um i think last week i i think i said on the thing i don't don't remember if i was telling you guys or somebody else but i felt like the tech got flushed out right apple was making new lows um just a uh, amazon meta all that was making new lows i just felt like it was a flush and guess what look at the market rally right that's been outperforming now if you guys want to place a trade um, again, now this is trade advice. I'm just some dude on uh, YouTube, but uh, maybe look to be long uh, NQ or NASDAQ and short S&P uh, 500, right? Because it feels like the NASDAQ is actually going to outperform um, the NASDAQ, right? Or sorry, NASDAQ's going to outperform uh, S&P. So if we look at ES minus slash NQ, we could see it here, right? So so we could see S&P's now performing, but now does it perform to the downside? Maybe. So um, that's just something that I'm looking at. Uh, let's take a look at crude oil. Um, interesting pattern on crude oil, kind of making a uh, low, high, higher low, higher high, pullback. Again, does this go into winter if things start to get colder i think this gets higher keep it simple um let's take a look at the problem child bitcoin okay so you guys know if you've been watching me for a long time this entire year i've been calling for about eleven thousand on uh what you call it on um bitcoin and we got down into the 15,000s on Bitcoin. We finally broke this head and shoulders. I have my, what you call it, right? This was the FTX blow up, potential bear flag forming. Now, I get it last week. I said, hey, nice uh, potential break to the upside. Listen, news events come in. Dude, I can't help it, right? Charts were bullish, but this was a news event. And this is why you should always use stop losses, right? Um, manage your risk. If you ever trade anything, you never know when a news event can happen. And usually they happen while you're sleeping. So um, I'm still looking for that uh, 11 to 12,000 level on Bitcoin. Um, and it's just kind of, it takes a while for these things to play out, but we're getting close to it. So let's take a look at uh, gold GLD. Um, now, last week I told you guys I was ultra bullish on gold. Okay, we were here. I said I loved gold. We had the classic divergence, right? Divergence here, a look below and fail. Okay, and look at this. Boom, breakout. We ran all the way to 64. You could have entered this at 55, give or take, right? 56 on 156. Yeah, we closed today at 164. Okay, nice nine point move. Again, let the charts tell you where uh, things are going. Silver, SLV. Okay, SLV to me feels like it's lagging now. Now, for a while, gold will outperform uh, silver and vice versa. I think gold's out actually outperforming gold because we could see in the charts, this is where we were. One, two, three, four, five, right? Right here, we barely moved right we literally moved 75 cents um but on gold we moved nine dollars i get it, they're different but we should be probably way up here probably 21 to match that same move so um just something to be very aware of um i'm still bullish on these there's something i think uh buybacks are viable but it's interesting <laughs> and real quick, I'm going to go back to gold. 
to me, it's very interesting how throughout this entire inflation, gold does nothing. Now, CPI number comes out showing inflation is kind of getting a little less than it was before. And now gold wakes up. Go figure. So um, just something a little suspicious, something to think about. Um, is money flowing out of Bitcoin and into gold? Remember, it's the, the uh, Bitcoin's millennial gold. Gold is the old man uh, store of wealth. And maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. Uh, and then finally, Apple, um, kind of a double bottom and triple bottom, we'll call it, right? And then take off a uh, rocket chip. We are still making lower highs, lower lows. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Apple up at this 155 high volume node right here um, sometime this week if the market continues its rally. Um, so that's what I see. As always, thank you. Um, make sure you guys turn on the bell notification is I'll probably go live uh, sometime next week. Don't know when, so it'll be a surprise, but it's usually in the evening time. And uh, with that being said, as always, thank you again, and we'll talk to you soon.